Welcome back to saying goodbye to gasoline. On today's episode, I'm going to be talking about Battery Day. That's the annual shareholders meeting and then the announcements about the new battery technology that Tesla and Elon Musk just got done with. So I'm going to be breaking it all the way down in this video. So stay tuned. I'm not an expert on anything manufacturing or chemistry, anything else like that. I'm just a guy that like, likes Tesla, I like technology, and so this stuff gets me excited. Also likes sustainability, which I wanna talk about more on this channel. So, breaking down battery day, it's basically three parts. There's the chemistry slash manufacturing updates, which that's all about the actual battery stuff, and I'm just gonna be basically just telling you what they told me and I don't know how to analyze that or break it down for you. And then the other two parts are the vehicles that they announced, which one of them is an affordable one and one of them is not an affordable one. So I'll get into both of those, but just to run down on the chemistry and the manufacturing, this is where Elon Musk comes in as Tony Stark. He basically comes in there drops a mic and says, I'm gonna do this and no big deal. Congratulations. You have created a new element. He was talking about creating a new aluminum alloy to create a single rear body piece, new battery improvements that make the manufacturing cheaper and provide more power. So what that's gonna do is just give it more range and in the long run, it's just gonna be better for everybody just a huge improvement to the actual manufacturing process. This is just something from, you know, top down, basically. The battery and the parts are just gonna be intertwined. The architecture of the car, it's gonna eliminate a bunch of unnecessary parts, make it all like single, large castings in the front and the back. Like I said, just like a custom aluminum alloy. This is like, Tony Stark, when he invented a new element. That's what Elon Musk does. He just does stuff like that. And everything is for the goal of sustainability. Like I said, just getting it to the point where we can get away from fossil fuels, we can get um, to something that's more sustainable. And that's what I love about the company and I love about their mission as well. So I like all of those things that Tesla's doing. Elon said there's three parts of a sustainable energy future. So that's sustainable energy generation, storage, and electric vehicles. So he said he wants to play a significant role in all three. Obviously we have the vehicles, that's the Teslas. The storage is like the battery power, the walls, and then actually creating the you know energy, that's the solar. So making the energy, storing it, and then producing it out, you know, using it for vehicles to get us around transportation. So all of those things are, you know, why would you not want that? It's, it's, that's just the way the future is gonna be. So why would you not wanna go that direction? And just like Tony Stark is a futurist, Elon Musk is also a futurist. And it's funny that Elon Musk was actually in Iron Man 2. The current place that we're in right now, Elon was talking about how the today's batteries can't scale fast enough. They're just too small. So in order for electric cars to continue growing against gas cars, they have to get cheaper. You know, they have to get better. They have to have a longer range. So that's what this battery day was all about. Just to kind of let us know this is what's coming in the future. It's not here right now. It's not gonna be here next week but it's coming in the future. So Tesla's plan is to have the cost of producing every kilowatt hour with continuous cylindrical cells as opposed to those with tabs coming in. The new battery architecture is gonna result in five times more energy, 16% range increase, six times the power output, and they're already starting at the pilot plant. Um, this, and also at the same time, costs are gonna be reduced as well. So just producing all of these batteries, getting all the factories and the machines that make the machines, this is all like the genius of Elon Musk and, and the company as well. That's why I just, I see a long-term 
positive output for Tesla because the management is right. It's going to take about a year to reach the 10 gigawatt hour capacity. Um, but the next goal they said is to just improve manufacturing processes to the point where assembly lines are just continuously moving. You know, by 2030, with all of the, everything you know done, Tesla says that they're going to be able to produce three terawatt hours of energy per year. Um, and they, they talked about chemistry and um, mining and things like that. Enough lithium in Nevada alone to electrify the entire U.S. fleet. But like I said, I'm not an expert on chemistry or manufacturing. I just think it's all cool. And then there's the two cars. So there's the non-affordable one, which is the Plaid Model S, which everybody was rumored and they, they, they all knew about the Plaid model coming. So they kind of showed off a little bit of the power. It's got 1,100 you know, horsepower and it's the quickest zero to 60 um, and quarter mile acceleration of any production car ever. It went, clocked the Laguna uh, Speedway or Raceway at a minute and 30 seconds. And they started the pre-orders today. So I'm not getting a Plaid Model S, but if anybody out there has got, you know, if you got about 200,000, you got 140 to 200,000 to drop on a Plaid Model S. Uh, let me know, and if you want to let let me uh, drive it, I will. No, I'll take good care of it. The one that is actually affordable, the one that I would be looking at as well, in addition to my Model 3, or maybe you know by the time this one comes out, because they're talking about 2023, maybe getting this one. There's a $25,000 car in the works, which is going to be their most affordable yet. They haven't given it a name yet, but just the fact that it's going to be 25000 He kind of talked about the, the breakdown of the cost of electric vehicles and how they can do anything they want, you know, to make it more desirable and make it look the coolest looking car in the world. But at the end of the day, if you can't afford it, if you can't actually, um, you know, pay money to get the car, what's the point? So having a $25,000 electric vehicle is just going to be a lot more uh, sustainable for everyone out there and to get Tesla's mission of getting these electric vehicles out to as many people as possible. So that's kind of exciting as well. And, you know, the net goal of this is just to bring the world's carbon output down, just kind of get um, the, the emissions out that if you want to have a sustainable transportation, you know, option. You can't continue the way that we've been going on gas ice vehicles. So I think this is just an amazing achievement for Tesla and electric vehicles in general. So battery day, there was a lot of announcements, a lot of fun, a lot of excitement. And I just wanted to share my thoughts and opinions on it. So if you want to share your thoughts and opinions, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Let me know. Give me a like, you know, subscribe for more content hit the notification bell. And actually in the comments, if you let me know what you wanna see, I'll go ahead and make you know as many videos as I can. I wanna to talk to people and I wanna make sure I'm kind of communicating with the community of Tesla. I really, I've really enjoyed getting a lot of feedback from people and talking to people who also have Tesla. So if you have anything that you wanna share with me, go ahead and do it down in the comments. And until next time, goodbye, gasoline.